Now, there's plenty of use cases where you may want to build a website, have zero budget whatsoever, but you still want to have a good platform to work with and host it for zero cost. And then maybe if you have some budget in the future, you can upgrade should you want to or need to. In this video, I'm going to give you a simple option that allows you to do just that. We're going to be using Web Studio, an open source tool that allows you to build websites. And we're also going to be hosting this on Cloudflare. Now, I'm not going to show you how to build a website. That's something completely different. But if you would like a video on using Web Studio to get started, it, building sites, let me have a comment down below. And if enough people are interested, I will absolutely create that video. Let me show you, though, what we have to start off with and how I would speed up the whole build process if you're new to this and you maybe don't have a huge amount of technical skill. Before we do, though, let's quickly take a look at the pricing for Web Studio. Now, you're probably thinking, Paul, you said this was free, and it is. I just want to show you in what format it's free. So there's a couple of options you have here when it comes to Web Studio. You could use the hobby plan, which is free, and this allows you to kind of use the power of Web Studio for zero cost, and you can have one custom domain, 10,000 page views per month, 3,000 form submissions, and a bunch of other options there. So if you want to use it for free, you absolutely can do. However, if if you want to self-host, that limitation is taken out of the equation. You can create as many sites as you want to using Web Studio and then host them where you want to for zero cost. There are a couple of options here, and I'll show you one in this example, but there are more available should you want to look at those alternatives. So as you can see, the self-host, you host option is free on basically self-host the builder or self-host the site. We're going to self-host the site itself. That makes our process so quick and easy. So what you need to do is create an account on Web Studio, log in, and create a new project. I've already done that. I've created a simple landing page design. This is using a template, and I'll show you exactly how you can use this for yourself for zero cost. And as you can see, this is what we're working with. So what we want to do is we want to see how we would create something like this. So this is very easy. What we're going to do is we're going to come into the option for Marketplace, and inside there, we're going to use the craft library. Now, the craft library is basically like a CSS framework. So all the variables are created. You can add more in if you want to, but it's a great starting point. All you need to do is install that into your website, and you'll have access to it. Then you're going to go to the Onyx library, open that up. Inside there, use the style guide and add that to your website. That pulls in some additional sort of variables that you need to be able to use these free library wireframes. And then once you've done that, well, you've got a bunch of wireframes underneath for things like banners, headers, FAQ sections, hero sections, and so on. These are the completely free options. So if you want to hit the ground running, this is a good way of doing it. There's a pro version again, but I'm not going to link to that in the description down below. You can search for that, find it yourself if you want to. So all of these sections are all free. And there's a lot more here. So let's say you wanted to add another section and you want to add in something like an FAQ at the bottom. All we're going to need to do is come to our navigator, make sure that we are in the right place. In this case, the layout 10, we're going to put it below this. Come back over into our marketplace, open up the Onyx library. Going to come down so we find an FAQ that we like. This one looks pretty good. Click. It's added in. Simple as that. Scroll down now. There's our FAQ. So now we can start editing this. As you can see, when we click on anything, it'll all be available. So we can customize this, edit it, all those kinds of good things. And like I say, if you want me to create a video on how to get started with Web Studio, let me have a comment down below. Okay, so we'll say we're happy with all this. We've got everything set up the way we want. What do we do next? Well, the next thing we're going to do is export this as a packaged zip file ready to upload. Sounds complicated. It's absolutely not. We're going to come up to the top. We're going to click on Publish. Inside here, you can see we've got this onyx blah, 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 dot io. That's our temporary domain on Web Studio itself. We don't want it from there, though. So we're going to come down. We're going to choose the Export option. And inside here, you can see we've got a destination. So we can export this to Docker, static, and so on. We're going to choose static for this example. And then we're going to say build and download a static site. That's going to build everything. It's going to package the JavaScript, CSS, HTML files up, create all the things that we need to be able to upload it to our hosting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say build and download static site. That's going to take a few moments, depending upon the complexity of the site. So while we're waiting for that, let's just jump over now to where we're going to host this and get everything set up there as well. So for today, we're going to be using Cloudflare. So you can host on Cloudflare for zero cost whatsoever. Let me show you how to do it. Create an account if you don't already have one. If you do have one, simply log in. Then inside your dashboard, come down to the Compute Workers on the left-hand side and choose Workers and Pages. Select from the list. 
and you can see we've got workers and pages. Jump over to the pages, and then we've got drag and drop files. Click get started, and as you can see while we're waiting, this actually finished the download. So say get started, give this project a name. There we go. We'll say create the project, then says upload the project assets. So we'll say select from computer or drag and drop in. So we'll upload the zip file. That will then show us all of the files inside that zip file. As you can see, we've got favicon, an index HTML, an asset folder, and a CSS variables folder. As you can see, all the different sizes and everything are there. So all we need to do once we've done that is say, deploy the site. That will then take a few moments depending upon the size of the site. And there we go, your project has been deployed to region Earth. So if we continue our project, there's our project. Now, we're currently using a test domain. So this is a sample domain that's already been created inside Cloudflare, but you can easily add in your own custom domain from here, no problem at all. So what you can do is you can view your details. That'll give you information about your site. You can manage the deployment from here and so on, or we can just click and go and take a look at the site itself. And there's our site. As you can see, it's an exact replica of what we've seen. Some animations have applied to it. Our FAQ section inside you, all set up and running. Now, you may be thinking, that's cool, Paul, but what does this actually operate like? Is this going to be really slow and clunky and painful? Well, let's run it through PageSpeed Inside and take a quick look. Let's pop our domain in and click Analyze. Now, I've just created this basic holding page. I've uploaded some images. I've done no optimization whatsoever. So there's probably scope for improvement there. But let's take a quick look at the results on both desktop and mobile and see how this fares. So on mobile, we're actually getting a performance of 75, which isn't too bad. You can see accessibility can be improved and SEO. We've done none of those things here. We've literally just popped in some wireframes and left it at that. But the scores are pretty respectable. And if we come down, we can say improve image delivery. So as I've said, I didn't optimize these, so I could easily optimize these to get better results. So as you can see, this particular one is 1.15 megabytes. We could probably get that down to one tenth of that and optimize things. So there's some useful kind of remedial work we could do there. And if we jump over to the desktop, we're looking pretty good there, 96 performance. As you can see, largest content full paint or LCP, 1.4 seconds, and the first, less than half a second. So that's pretty good. So we've already off to a good start and zero money spent whatsoever. So finally, once you've done this, if you wanna add in a custom domain, all you need to do is come into your website inside Cloudflare, hit custom domains, and you can set up a custom domain from inside you, and you can have your website up and running. And if you wanna get some basic metrics, you can do that from here as well for the number of requests, the gigabytes per second, CPU time, and so on. So this is a great way of being able to get a website created and built for zero cost using Web Studio, tap into a CSS framework, also use these free wireframes, and then you can upload it and host it using something like Cloudflare. And then if you want to purchase a domain for a couple of dollars, couple a pound and apply that to it, you absolutely can do. So as I said at the top of the video, if you want me to cover Web Studio in a bit more detail, show you how to set things up and start creating your first website, let me have a comment down below. As always, all applicable links are in the description. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts. And until next time, take care.